During our preliminary task, we were taught about continuity techniques and how to edit them so they looked effective. These techniques included 180 degree rule. This technique is where the camera always remains on the same side of the actor, creating geography for the viewer. Eye line match, when the actor is shown looking at something off screen and then the camera angle changes so the audience can also see what the actor is looking at. And match on action, this creates a smooth continuous edit which is made up of several clips. I use the 180 degree rule in both my preliminary task and my opening sequence. In my preliminary task, the camera shot switches between one character and the next. We notice here that the camera is always placed on one side of the actors, so the viewer does not feel confused or disorientated. I also use the technique in my opening sequence. I felt it was important to include this technique so the audience would remain engaged in the film and not distracted by the confusing camera angles. Even though Rose is shown looking at her dress, the camera remains on the same side of her throughout the movement back to her seat and then stays on her right for the rest of the film. I use the eyeline match technique quite obviously in my preliminary task. Kim is shown to be looking at the letter when the shot changes so the audience can also see what she is looking at in more detail. This is a nice effect as it creates suspense and makes the audience eager to see what the character is looking at. In my opening sequence, however, I used eyeline match quickly and subtly. You can see Rose turn quickly back to the mirror after hearing the door slam for the second time. Here, if we quickly see, she is looking at the mirror off shot before the camera shows what is on the mirror to the audience. I like how this works as it created suspense and anticipation for the viewer in a short space of time. I decided to choose match on action in both my preliminary task and my opening sequence. In my preliminary task it was used to show Kim walking down the corridor and around the corner. If edited properly, it helped to make the sh shot look fluid and smooth. I also used this technique to show Kim to walking through the door. It shows this shot from two angles, one outside the door and one inside as she steps through. It begins to make the shot look more interesting to watch. I wanted my opening sequence to look smooth, so I used match on action to make sure it did. Using Final Cut Express, I edited several shots together to create a match on action shot. This is shown when Rose walks past the bed to the dress and back again. The motion switch between shots almost goes unnoticed by the viewer and makes her walk more interesting to watch. In my opening sequence and preliminary task, I have tried to use a range of shot types to keep the film interesting and to create the right mood and effect for my genre. I have used many shot types including close-ups, pans, and medium shots. In my preliminary task I learned a lot, not just about continuity editing, but also about shot types and how to experiment with them to make them look good and effective and smooth. In my preliminary task I used a series of close-ups such as when Kim walked towards the camera and we saw a close-up of her feet, and also when the letter was shown on screen. I used close-ups to grab the viewer's attention and almost force them to focus their attention on a certain object I wanted them to remember throughout the film. In my, se in my opening sequence, I chose a close-up for effect. I wanted to focus on certain objects such as the match being struck and the candle being lit. These shots set the mood for the film right at the beginning and set the scene instantly for the viewer. The lighting also fits in with the horror genre and sticks in their mind. I used close-ups to also get the mise-en-scene for my opening sequence as the dark lighting made it look spooky and eerie. In my preliminary task, I didn't use a pan at all. I wasn't very confident with the uses of different shot types, so chose not to venture too far. Although, when I researched the horror genre, establishing new shots which pan downwards on the location of the film seemed very popular. A good example of this would be The Ring. We see an establishing shot of the location at the very start of the film. I took inspiration from The Ring and decided an establishing shot of my location at night would look most effective, as a darkness mixed with rain and thunder would create a great deal of tension. In my preliminary task, I use medium shots to mainly show movement of the character around the room. I use medium shots because when it came to continuity editing, such techniques as match and action, it would look more professional and smooth. A good example is when Kim is walking across the room to sit down. I also use this in my opening sequence when my character moved around the location. I also use medium shots in both to focus on certain objects, which I felt were important, but not as important as others. I feel throughout this task I have learned a lot about media, in which I didn't know before. Coming into media at A-level after having little to no experience of it before is one thing, but having to learn about all the software and all the techniques were quite another. I feel I've gained camera work skills. Before the, prelimin before the preliminary task, I hadn't ever really used a video camera to create a short movie. 
I feel like I have developed my camera skills vastly from when I did my preliminary task to my opening sequence. I also now have gained skills in editing. I learnt quickly how to use software such as Final Cut Express and GarageBand. With the skills gained from using these two pieces of software, I developed an opening sequence agreeably better than my preliminary task. You can see that the steadiness of the camera work has changed from my preliminary task, where it was unsteady, to my opening sequence where it was still and straight. I also feel that my continuity editing, editing has improved. I think my general knowledge all round has improved. I really didn't know about, a lot about media before, but now camera angles and continuity editing make sense to me, and I feel I've used them and developed them during the whole course work process.